are you in a relationship with a woman you're clearly in love with but the thing is she doesn't respect you you can feel it you know that she does not respect you in this video you're going to find out why she does not respect you and what you can do about it starting from today but before we go into all of that how would you know that a woman does not respect you especially a woman you're in love with and you are in a relationship with there are certain signals that shows that she does not respect you and for the sake of clarity i'm going to state some of the things that shows that she clearly does not respect you number one she doesn't value your opinion i mean she just does things without even discussing with you or not consulting with you so to speak but at least having a discourse about it with you for example you go to work and you return home to an empty house she's nowhere in sight and then you pick up the phone, you call her and you're like, babe, where are you? And she's like, oh, sorry, Jari, I forget to tell you. I can't see my friends. And I know go come back to the, I know go come back to the, I beg, no vex. You see, that is a sign that she does not respect you. Because a woman that respects you, before she even make a move like that, she would discuss it with you and even ask for your opinion. She would tell you where she's going to before she even embark on journeys like that. The fact that she has already gone out doing her thing and she doesn't even deem it fit to run it by you or discussing it with you is a first sign to show that she doesn't have respect for you number two she doesn't recognize your worth as an individual funny enough you might even be the boss in your work environment like where you work you're the boss yes sir yes sir but when you come back home she doesn't even know your worth she speaks to you anyhow disrespect i'm not talking about people that are true banters there are people that are very playful with their spouses right when you see some couples playing you'll be wondering ah, should my husband and wife be this for me and my husband we like we're carefree sometimes we play a lot, you know, we discuss a lot and sometimes we're like just, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. If you see us outside without the kids, you might think that we're just dating on the streets and we're not married. Yeah, I'm not talking about situations like that. I'm talking about like you come back home and this woman talks to you without any form of grace, no respect. She just, you know, she doesn't know your worth because what you don't know, you cannot place value on. And what you cannot place value on, you cannot respect. Number three, she does not acknowledge your feelings. She doesn't even put you into consideration whatsoever when she's making plans or whatever. For example, you come back home and you see guests in the house. Maybe her friend has come over and she's supposed to stay for like one week, two weeks. And this is like no form of discourse whatsoever. She did not inform you. She didn't consider your feelings. Now you're in the house, you can't feel free. Maybe you're the type of guy that would want to like wear your small boxers and you know, just feel free, relax in the parlor and watch your soccer or whatever. But now you can't, you're confined to your room because why? There's a guest in the house and maybe the house is not a very big house. This is to show that she doesn't consider your feelings at all. And when a woman doesn't consider your feelings when she's making decisions, it means that she doesn't even place value on you. She doesn't even respect you. Or maybe it's not even her friends. Maybe it's some relative coming over Maybe your mom who has come for Mugo, staying for one year, two years, three years. When will you ever be free and like have your privacy? Whenever you bring it up, she's like, hey, I'm not going to take care of my family. She because I'm married, I go forget my family. My family and my family are back. They'll be my family before you come marry me. You know, things like that. She's blackmailing you with them being her family. And because of that, they can barge into the house. You know, one thing I actually admire about the Western culture is the fact that you don't just barge into people before you go to people's house or before you visit you have to like call hey guy hey baby are you around can i come over inform them first that is one thing i truly cherish about their culture but here in africa you find situations where you know people just badging on you and the house is full no privacy when you want to call yourself as a man you'll be like <coughs> you swallow it inside because maybe they don't hear my voice outside i say yeah they call it every minute you're just dying in silence that is a sign that she doesn't respect you and this brings me to the next part of this video why might she not be respecting you number one you lack confidence you're not confident in yourself you know when a man is not confident in himself everything around you knows that let me give you a typical example you're in a gathering of maybe close friends or maybe a community everybody is giving his opinion and then when is your time to talk you're like eh Make it not be like say I no talk. Oh. Make it not be like say I no talk. Oh. I think say we are supposed to do this like this. We're supposed to be doing this. like from the way you're talking, it shows that you lack confidence. Those people are not going to take anything you say into consideration because they'll be like this one. What is he even saying? Next, please. 
and it's not as if you're not a bona fide member of that group or maybe you don't you're not supposed to have a say but because you lack confidence in yourself you don't even believe in what you're about to say same applies to relationships same applies to your wife or your spouse you say things you're not even confident in yourself you don't do things with confidence and the moment a woman senses that you don't have confidence in yourself she can never respect you another example is you're having a discussion in the garden of people that matter in your life these people consist of maybe your colleagues some of your family like top people in your life and you say things like what in us have you self you know me now nah, i be mumu person now nah, you refer to yourself as a mumu man See, let me tell you, eh, the name that you call your dog is what outsiders will call that dog. The name that you call yourself is what people will call you. How do you present yourself? How confident are you? You can't be referring to yourself as a mumu man, like, what in I know, self? What in I know? Make I just talk. No, you have to be confident and know what you're saying. Be sure of what you're saying and say it with certainty. Assert your confidence and respect to begin to flow your path. Number two, she doesn't respect you because you don't set clear boundaries. In your mind, anything goes. The moment you put yourself in that position, you're like, anything goes. You will never be respected. And this is not just about your wife. It's about everything, every element in that house, even visitors. When your wife will stay on the window and be calling you, you're on the street, she's calling your name. Papa, Emeka, come here, where did they go? Everybody's watching, even the dog self is watching. You don't set clear boundaries. When she does something that is not good, instead of calling her to order and telling her that I don't want a repeat of this, you let it fly. That is why she doesn't respect you. When she does something that is bad, make sure you talk about it. Make sure you caution her so that there won't be a repeat of that kind of behavior. Again, in as much as we don't want to agree with these things, you teach people how they treat you set clear boundaries maybe you come back home and you see a bunch of people watching nollywood movie in your sitting room making noise discussing the movie you can't even have peace you're sitting in your room yet the sound the noise is too much and you let things like that slide every day they keep coming when they come they bring more people your house don't come become cinema you don't have privacy you keep condoning behaviors like that it's going to continue to happen so you need to be able to set clear boundaries this will not be rocket science. Now you do your hand. Now you go set that boundaries. But in certain boundaries, you have to present it in the manner in which it will be accepted. Don't appear as like a bully or maybe you're trying to stamp so much authority. At the end of the day, you're the head of the family. If you're not able to set boundaries, it means that you're opening yourself up for anything. Your children can, anybody can budge into your house. Neighbors can budge into your house. Come carry your gas, self. go cook, finish the gas, carry the cylinder, come return. Come carry your plate, self. where do you take it? No boundaries, nothing, no standards. Today she gives you food with plastic plates, you eat. She gives you with stainless plates, you eat. She give put them for your hand, self, you eat. She put them for ground, you eat. She put them for table, you eat. No standard whatsoever, nothing. That is why she doesn't have respect for you. Women respect standards. <laughs> women are very simple. This is one of the shouts that women get while at the day complex. It's very, very simple. When you understand, this is like principles. When you understand these things, eh, you go forget self, say, something like disrespect they exist. Although, you know, say sometimes we too, we day, you know. <laughs> but notwithstanding, the problems will be very minimal. Number three, poor communication skills. This is also related to setting standards somehow. You don't even know how to communicate your feeling clearly. You don't know how to communicate your opinion. You say things and you'll be like, eh, I know remember I tell you I'll be I know tell you that is poor communication skill. Be articulate. Articulate no means you go need to sabi all the grammar we did this life. A grammar English na person language, you don't understand. Now queen language now. <laughs> that be our mother tongue. Articulate means that you're able to like effectively communicate your feelings, whatever it is, in whatever language you're most comfortable in. No, they go they form English, you just marry wife last year, they form here. Did you did did you know? Did you know? Oh God, English not be your father language, except of course, if not your father language, by all means speak away, okay. <laughs> but if you know it's not be your father language, guy, communicate, speak Igbo, speak Yoruba, speak Hausa, whatever it is, speak pidgin. Let her know what you truly feel, let her know what your stance are about certain things, be articulate. All right, it's very important so you will not be misunderstood, and that way she will be able to respect you because waiting person don't understand, you know, if you respect now. Maybe, for example, I don't even know that uh, 
you don't like um, too much pepper, for example, you and uh, you're stylishly doing it, you and this pepper, you and this pepper, that is not clear line of communication. If you don't see this pepper too much, the food is too spicy, let her know that, baby, this is affecting my stomach. Can you reduce it? Clearly articulate your feelings. This one be very important. It will make her respect you. Another reason why she might not have respect for you is past experiences. Some women carry a lot of trauma with them, okay? Maybe she has been in a very toxic relationship before now, and then she's still kind of entangled in all of that mess. That is not your fault, right? But it can be a reason why she doesn't even have respect for you. And past trauma can even be what she has seen growing up. Maybe her mom didn't respect her dad, or her, she saw her mom maybe be Beating her dad or talking to him anyhow or talking down on him or something so past trauma can be from anywhere it can be from like you know childhood trauma all of us shall carry one trauma or the other and number five the reason why she doesn't respect you is inconsistent behaviors where your words and your actions are inconsistent they no tally you say this thing now and you do another thing the next minute you're inconsistent in your behavior she won't be able to respect something that is not consistent okay Maybe you're talking about an individual and you're like, that man, that man, I beg, that I don't dead in relationship with that man. I know they follow and they reason things. And then the next thing you hear, knock, knock, knock for door, the man has come. And you're like, oh, sir, oh, you're not consistent. Your behavior, inconsistent. You say one thing, you do another thing. Women cannot respect something like that. You need to be consistent. In your behavior and this even goes beyond your marriage relationship or maybe your relationship with your spouse is even affect every other aspect of your life your behavior need to be consistent your words and your body language need to tally they need to marry each other right you can't be saying one thing and your actions are saying different things now that we know the reasons why she does not respect you what can you do you see all these points here we make her know they respect you these are the things you're going to work on it's as simple as that number one be confident in yourself. Build confidence in yourself. One of the things that I've actually realized make a lot of men lose confidence in our today life is they engage in a lot of porn. You build this little life and images in your head. You don't deal with actual real human beings. You watch porn and you watch different sex styles involving people that you don't even know if they are on drugs. So when you're now faced with reality, real human beings, real situations, you lack confidence because one thing that porn is going to do to you is that it's going to bring down your confidence level to like zero you're always indulging in these things that are not real as far as i'm concerned they are not real you don't see these people you're not there with them when you're not faced with real situation and a real human being you go begin to the blab you don't even know what you're saying build confidence in yourself internet is a blessing to us in this time and age there are lots of self-help materials you can get that would help you build your confidence be more articulate and express your feelings effectively like i said everything we said that is making her not respect you these are the things you have to work on speak the language that she understand and you understand better let her understand you however you need to make her understand you right don't be the type that something is happening and you're not saying anything you'll be like eh, hey, i beg i know one while if i talk now she'll go talk to me for three weeks it's not an excuse if you don't say it she will not know it and she cannot work on it so you have to talk with oh my brother. Closed mouth, they say, is closed destiny. Talk. Express yourself and express it effectively. Maybe you could just come. You won't even communicate. You can't spoil everything. You're given different information, different from what you want to truly say. Express yourself effectively so that she can understand you. And that way she'll begin to have respect for you. Set clear boundaries. Don't let everything slide. Everything should not be go past with you. Set clear boundaries. If you don't like something, like I said before, make it clear. Be consistent with your action, with your word. Be consistent. Let everything you say tally with your actions, your body language, your patterns, your words. Everything tally. Let them marry each other. Be consistent. Address past issues. If her past issues are becoming a problem and you have realized it that because she has some kind of trauma, it's affecting your relationship, talk about it. Seek the help of a professional if you have the means, right? Talk about it so that it can be clear most importantly do not swallow pain see eh, when your wife do you something and you know that you're hot by this thing you don't like it talk don't bottle it inside of your heart she might not even know that she has offended you talk about it tell her 
that this thing you did is not good. Not that you will keep it after like six months. She now does another one. You next thing you now bring it up and you're like, yeah, that's how six months ago you did this, you did that. And she has even probably forgotten. The person will offend you, they carry fees. I just want to know from your face. Talk about it. Let her know that. Come, this one, you don't commit offense. I know some guys will be like, this is too much work. How am I supposed to do all of this just because I want to keep a woman? Oh, please. I don't need a woman, she can go. You hear songs like, no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. You keep playing it every morning. My brother, and I wouldn't you believe with that too. Because the person that wrote that song has, I'm sure, has his reasons <laughs> for writing that song. But the truth of the matter is, uh, hmm, is it that you're doing this thing or not? If you decide that, fine, you don't need a woman for your life. You're fine, you're okay. Good and fine. Nobody's going to stop you from going to heaven because you did not get married as long as you live a holy and righteous life, right? But the thing is, if you know that you truly want the benefits of this family relationship, you truly want to have a family, you truly want people you can rely on, assistants, people that can help you even in bad times. If you truly want to build a family, then you have to build a family. Love is a conscious decision to make sacrifices every day. Love is not always jolly, jolly, jolly butterflies in my stomach. Sometimes you look for those butterflies, they're not there. You're not feeling anything. That's the truth. But it's a conscious decision. You have decided that this thing, I'm going to make it work. And if it's a marriage relationship, it's not something that you supposedly graduate from. It's a consistent thing. It's constant. You have to like, you know, this decision is like you make it every morning. I decide that I'm going to love my wife. You make that conscious decision to sacrifice, to bend over, to shift ground every day, every hour, till the end of time. That is what love, that is what marriage is all about. And you know one thing again is sometimes when you listen to all of these things and maybe you're not married yet, it becomes so overwhelming for you. But trust me, if you're in it, if you're in that relationship, if you're in that marriage, it's not that overwhelming. What you do is you take it one step at a time, every day, at a time. So is it that you want to do this or not? There is nothing like in between. I don't want woman wahala, but I want the benefit of relationship. I want the benefit of marriage. I want children. Because you're thinking about your old age, you know that when I'm old, when and all of this is happening, I need people that will support me. You want all of that benefit, but you're not willing to put in the work to have like a harmonious relationship. You might not be able to get it. There is nothing like in between. And before I end this video, there's something I've noticed about disrespect. Most times, uh, when your wife does not respect you, there's every likelihood that your children are not going to respect you. And you know what that means, especially your sons. They're going to carry their attitude out of the family, go into the society, and continue to build their life based on what they have learned from home. So imagine the ripple effect this thing has. This is the more reason why you need to work on it. Earn that respect so that you can have a very harmonious and loving relationship which would affect your children and everything around you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Wendy Zill. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, I appreciate you for clicking. Please, before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notification bell for more video from this channel. Stay cheerful always and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.